Hey guys, Project Reaper here, and today I'm bringing you a video about the talent called Bribe. Uh, it's probably the most underused talent in the game, at least as, as a level 1 talent that is um, available on several different heroes. There's actually seven different heroes that have either Bribe or a, a variation of Bribe, but uh, it's actually extremely handy, and when I play Brightwing or... When I play Nazebo, I do typically take Bribe. And, and I know a lot of people take Death Ritual. Um, I personally think it takes a little too much micromanagement to deal with Death Ritual. And it also is going to depend on the map, which I'll get into in just a moment. But uh, Bribe is very, very helpful. On Brightwing, I, I choose one of these two typically, and that's also going to be map dependent. If I'm on a map where I need to, to move around a lot, where I need more map presence, where objectives are split up instead of in the same spot, then I tend to take Hyper Shift. Uh, the only time I really take Unfurling Spray, never mind, I'll get into that in the Brightwing video. But uh, the, there's a couple things that I want to bring up that I don't know if people really understand or realize about Bribe or how it works. So first of all, on, on the different slew of different maps that we have there's a several different mercenary types that you'll be dealing with on the first few maps that were uh, first made available in the game you've got groups of four which are called bruisers and then you have no that's the wrong one Let's just then you have these groups of two which are called siege giants so these are long range they deal a lot of damage and they're heavy duty and then these are melee, heavy duty, more tank units that are more frontline. And uh, they deal a little less damage, but you have more of them. So as far as bribes concerned, on a map where there's these two siege giants, and with the way that bribe allows for 50 stacks, but only 20 are needed to actually use a bribe, what you can do is you can actually go to the enemy side of the map and take their two mercenaries and it takes no time it, it, it takes a split second you just run over there you push one because that's what bribe will be mapped to unless you're the vikings and you'll just hit one siege giant one siege giant you stand in a little circle and those are your siege giants and then you can go kill the siege giants on your side of the map and now you're now you're controlling twice as many mercenaries in the same time it would take you to control just the one camp of mercenaries or, depending on the hero you're using, it may be better to kill one of them with a bribe, kill the other one with your basic attacks, like, say, Vala. Well, she doesn't have bribe, but um, she, she'd do better off verse 1 than verse 2. Um, not Brightwing, probably Falstad. Falstad's a good example. If I were using Falstad's bribe on these Siege Giants, I'd probably hit one, kill the other, and then go back to mine and do the same. So, um, using bribe on these, there's a couple things to note. When you kill the mage, or excuse me, the, the, yeah, the mage, the uh, ranged unit here, the one holding the staff, when you kill him, he will scream. It's, it's very audible, and enemies near your area can hear that scream. So you want to either kill him last, or kill him first if you're on your side of the map. But if you're taking an enemy's side of the map then you definitely want to to take that last um, in case they hear you or especially if you're alone so then on the towers of doom map we have these uh, these mercenaries and these are the only mercenaries on the map when you kill these they'll actually go and suicide bomb the enemy bases and so this can actually be really handy um, for bribe as well because you can bribe two of them and kill the last one or you can bribe one of them and kill two That's what I do with uh, Brightwing and with Nazebo is I would run in here I'd bribe one and then I'd use my spells my kit to kill the other two And then I would just run over to the other camp and bribe one and then kill the other two Now uh, on the two maps that are Diablo maps which are gonna be Infernal Shrines and Battle of Eternity, okay? So, um, just real quick about these mercenaries. These suicide bombing mercenaries are only on the Tower of Doom map. 
and these standard mercenary siege giants and bruisers are on all the other maps every every single other map has those those types except for these two which will be these two and let me see if I can zoom that in for you guys so you've got three groups of spearmen that are long ranged these actually work similar to your siege giants um, they don't do a lot of damage they don't have a lot of health so they're actually pretty easy to solo I almost never use bribe on these guys here on the right however these guys here on the left are pretty interesting this is a shaman who actually summons new units when these frontline units die and he is much much stronger than his summons he does much more damage than his summons so it takes a lot longer to kill him and if you're trying to solo camps it can be a little brutal but with someone like Brightwing you could run in here use your bribe on the beefcake guy in the middle and then you can use your splash damage Q to kill the other two quite quickly and you can actually kill this camp right here faster than a Gazlo not using bribe or uh, what have you so um, it can be very potent and what it really is gonna come down to is does your team have specialists is your team gonna control the mercenaries if they're not bribe can be very helpful and uh, as I mentioned I not shop sorry guys as I mentioned I like to take it on Nazebo and the reason for this is I don't have to spend as much time in the jungle um, I do typically view it as my responsibility to do the mercenaries a lot of people especially in quick match aren't gonna take that upon themselves and as a specialist it's kinda your job and until about level 12 to 15 you usually still are on your lanes you're not roaming as a pack you're not a whole group of five and when you're not a whole group of five a lot of heroes can't do mercenary camps so being a hero who can and being a hero who can do them very quickly with something like bribe is uh, is very powerful so the last thing I want to talk about just real quick is which heroes have bribe and let's make that bigger for you guys Ooh, that's a little too big so uh, Brightwing, Murky, Asmodan, Azebo, and Falstad so we've got one support three specialists and an assassin that all have Brightwing or excuse me that have bribe and then uh, the Lost Vikings and Raynor have a form of bribe that's a little bit different they're also at level one and the thing that's neat about Rainers is he can actually do a bribe with only 15 stacks still holding a maximum of 50 so the other characters the five that have normal bribe they can only bribe two units but Rainer can actually bribe three units when he's at full stacks so especially if you don't have a specialist this can be very powerful especially early game um, and just real quick it, when you combo this with inspire it makes the mercenaries attack faster and it makes them very powerful and then if you have someone else on your team who has mercenary lord you can actually do some really 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 savage early game pushes and get yourself a nice XP boost and then as long as you keep winning your team fights you'll hold that two level XP um, domination over your team the rest of the game and then the last one here is gonna be Vikings now the thing about Vikings because you have three different units and you can actually be present on three different lanes you can gather stacks three times as fast so what they've done to kinda hinder your ability to overdo that you can actually collect up to a hundred stacks but it takes forty so it's just it's basically the same thing it's just doubled but because there's three of you you're still gonna be able to use this faster than almost any other hero assuming that you're soaking properly that is to say if you're on a three lane map and uh, each of your three units are soaking the three different lanes you're gonna get these bribery stacks crazy fast and then you can actually leave two of your heroes on a lane send one and he can go use those bribe stacks while you're still soaking two lanes it's it's very powerful if you're able to micro this particular unit so um, that's bribe and kinda how to use it uh, when to use it is just again when, when you're lacking those specialists is the best time to take it 
or if you are the specialist and uh, you're on those Diablo maps frankly that's really what it comes down to when you're on those Diablo maps killing this guy really fast can be a game changer if you can if you can knock these out oh that's the one other thing I wanted to talk about with mercenaries real quick a big thing with mercenaries is timing if you can time your mercenaries right before they go away and something spawns to push so for example uh, battle of eternity you fight the two immortals once an immortal wins all the mercenaries on the map that you can like take control of go away and uh, that immortal will push a lane so if you can run over to a camp real quick right before either you lose the immortal fight or you win the immortal fight and you can grab that mercenary camp those mercenaries will either push with your immortal or they'll split push on the opposite lane and there the enemies are either gonna have to come deal with that and be be short a hero or they're going to lose a base because those mercenaries are really they're that powerful mercenaries are very very powerful so um yeah same thing on spider tomb if when you spam in the spiders you lose the ability to get the mercenaries so having the mercenaries obtained right before you do your turn in can be very very powerful so if you have bribe and your team has turn in you can just be like wait hang on and go to that camp and grab those siege giants and those siege giants will push behind your spider for that much extra damage so I think I've already made this video a little longer than I wanted to, but I hope you guys have learned a bit about Bribe, and I hope you want to try it now. Um, you know, let me know what you think, if you love it, if you hate it, if you feel like I missed anything, please feel free to, you know, just let me know, and we'll get back into it. Um, I'll, I'm happy to respond in the comments or whatnot. Really hope you liked and found the video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button at the bottom, as that helps me. But also, if you have any friends who you think would find this information helpful, I appreciate any shares or directing your friends to my channel. Uh, speaking of which, if you like the channel and you want to see more videos from me, you can hit right here and there that will subscribe you to my channel. And then also over here are some other videos that I've made regarding some uh, video game stuff. So hopefully you find all that as informational as you found this. I hope to see you guys next time and have yourself a great day.